Back to the Bible, leading people into a dynamic relationship with God. December 14th, Spirituality Demands Honesty Isaiah chapter 6 verses 1 to 8 The Bible has a great deal to say about the conscience. Much is said to believers with regard to the conscience. For example, Paul wrote in Romans chapter 9 verses 1, Say the truth in Christ, I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. The Apostle connected his conscience and the Holy Spirit in such a way as to show that the Holy Spirit works with the believer's conscience to keep it clear, to keep it functioning as it should. One of God's attributes is His holiness. He hates and will eventually destroy evil, but He loves good. A person's conscience reflects God's attitude in this. It condemns sin and approves what is right. God created people with a conscience to hate sin and to love right. The conscience condemns sin and approves of what pleases God. So through the conscience, God still works in people. The believer who wants to be filled or controlled by the Holy Spirit must allow God to instruct and control his conscience. Therefore, since God the Holy Spirit works through the conscience, it must be trained by the Word of God to be sensitive to the Spirit's dealing. A clear conscience will characterize a spiritual person. We need an alert conscience, as Paul said, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Romans chapter 9 verses 1 Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. Psalms chapter 119 verses 11. Amen. Back to the Bible, leading people into a dynamic relationship with God.